Hey guys, Ben here, and today we have a brand new zombies video. Today we are going to be looking at why Tagder Toten is the most underrated and overlooked zombies map of all time. Now, um, there are obviously a lot of reasons it's underrated, um, but today we're just going to be diving into a bunch of them, diving into why it's overlooked, and why really it doesn't deserve to be rated as one of the worst maps of all time. Because when I look at a lot of rankings, I see people, I have even seen it in the top, or bottom five, um, but pretty much everybody will put it in their bottom ten, and I think that it should be way further up, and I would be more understanding for a top ten than a bottom ten, honestly. And once you see this video, I hope you can find a way to agree with me. Even if you don't, if you want to comment your favorite, least favorite, any thoughts you have about Tagged or Toten, that'd be awesome. Um, if you guys want to like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, I did show on my last video the percent subscribers uh, that were watching, and it actually improved by 25%, which is awesome. Probably part of that eight-month break. But um, now that we're back, glad to see those numbers straightening out again. If you guys want to check me out on any social media, they're all linked in the description as always, and they're on screen right now. Uh, you can't click them, though. Uh, they're just, those are the usernames. It's probably easier to go to the description. But just, yeah. Um, anyways, let's get right on into it. Okay, so we're going to start here with why this map is overlooked. And it's pretty obvious as to why. It's because it is on Black Ops 4. And overall, the reception of Black Ops 4 zombies from the community was pretty shit. Um, nobody really loved Black Ops 4 Zombies, um, other than 9 and Ancient Evil, which I've heard great things about. I love both of those maps, they're both amazing. But both of those were actually the Chaos storyline. And I feel like people really began losing faith in the Ether storyline when they found that the, our final map would just be a fourth remake, especially after the first three flopped. Blood of the Dead was not even, it doesn't even deserve to be in the same conversation as Mob of the Dead. Classified was alright, but like 5 wasn't really anything special either. Either, and nobody really cares about either of them I would argue classified maybe the most boring and least innovative map of all time and then um, with our final one being Alpha Omega uh, people not even like everybody's saying it's better with Nuketown you either love it or you hate it if you love it you think it's better than Alpha Omega if you hate it you might still think it's better than Alpha Omega because really nobody likes Alpha Omega so finally we got to tag to Toten which is going to be a remake of Call of the Dead, which is obviously going to be less popular than Mob of the Dead, and seeing that they screwed that one up so much, I feel like that may have added a bit more. Really, overall, people, we didn't want to see a fourth remake. We got it anyways, and that instantly began putting this map down more in everybody's um, rankings, where they were like, they really just didn't care anymore we didn't want another remake we got it anyways and the fact that we got the victus crew for it made it even less hype and really i feel it was doomed from the start for those reasons all right so starting off with why it's actually underrated is the innovations it had and brought to the uh zombies realm um first off black ops 4 in general wasn't extremely innovative we saw multiple sets of the four um like different wonder weapons like we saw with the stabs the bows and then we got the raygun marks twos in black ops 4 the krakens the gauntlets and ancient evil there were a bunch of them in this game and i think people were kind of like that's all we were really getting with each map but when we came around to getting tagged a toten it actually put in two brand new wonder weapons which were forms of other wonder weapons but really not the same at all the Tundra Gun being one, which is obviously a weird garbage variant of the Thunder Gun, where it shoots like ice, but in a straight line only. It doesn't do the splash damage, although it does a lot of splash damage to you, which is horrible. It's not a great gun. Love the innovation, though, um, and it's kind of fun to use. And then there's the Wonderwaff Sniper, and I have no idea how to pronounce the name or what the name even is, because you can't see it on the HUD. I don't know who looked at that and approved of it. But you can't, that's nothing, that's just a blur of stuff um, on the bottom. But the Wonder Waff Sniper is pretty much what everybody knows it as. And it's actually a really cool weapon. Now snipers aren't great with the scopes on because it's just awkward in zombies. But um, really feel like this Wonder Waff Sniper is an amazing weapon. And when you pair it with the Tundra Gun, even though you can't pick both of them up, both of the brand new weapons, they're not... It's not bringing back the Raygun Mark II and then making four variants of it, because that's kind of something we've seen before uh, multiple times. 
Um, that's why the Rise and Drac was so special when it did it, because it was only the second one. We were It wasn't with every map that we were getting four elemental variants of the same weapon. But it feels like in Black Ops 4, they didn't really know what to do, and they just kept throwing it at us with a different weapon. And I feel like everybody just kind of got sick of it. Um, anyways, it also had snowballs and zip lines, which are much smaller mechanics, but still very, very unique to the map, and were really enjoyable in the map. Snowballs are fun, you just screw around with them, and they give you dynamite, so you really need to... This map does a great job of making it, so you need to use everything that the map gives you in order to do, like, anything. You need the snowballs to get dynamite, and dynamite's going to open up so much stuff for you. It's actually necessary in the Easter egg for getting the seal of duality, um, so definitely important there. But by far my favorite part, and probably the first thing you thought of when you heard of innovation on this map, something absolutely amazing, I don't know how it wasn't implemented earlier, but the golden pack-a-punch machine. I absolutely love the golden pack-a-punch machine. It's it's such a unique experience in zombies not just the machine but the island and it turns this map into something even bigger it plays arcade music when you're there and it's just relentless swarms of zombies coming for you now the golden pack of punch machine itself is obviously extremely useful as you can go over and it's much much cheaper than just double packing your gun over and over again and it'll just fully pack a bunch of your gun and you're just done at that point. Your gun's fully pack-a-punched. It has the uh, special ability, um, all that, perfect. But the best part is without a doubt, right when you get there, arcade music turns on and just relentless hordes of zombies on this little island um, just coming after you constantly. So much fun, I love that factor. When you have more than one person over there, it gets so chaotic, and it's so much fun. Uh, just everybody just running around. Nobody actually knows what's happening. It's such a great feature. Absolutely love it. Sh shocked it took them this long to put something like that in, but I'm super glad they did. And it's one of the, it's probably the most innovative thing that all of Black Ops 4 Zombies has, in my opinion. Alright, now for the second point, I feel like I'm about to trigger quite a few people, but it has to be said. And that is the fact that I believe genuinely that Tag to Toten is a better map than Call of the Dead. Now, when you think of Call of the Dead, it's a great map. I absolutely love it. I didn't play it as much as I've played other maps, but I've played it more than a fair share of times. Know pretty much everything about it. And I can say, when you think of Call of the Dead, when you think about it, the two problems you experience are the fog and George A. Romero. Those are the two big problems I hear people complain about a lot. Now what are two things that are missing from Tagged or Toten? It's the fog and it's George A. Romero. Now I love George A. Romero in real life, rip George A. Romero. Absolutely love him. Um, but in Call of the Dead, absolutely hated that man. Definitely cursed his name out before because in Call of the Dead, just he's killable but like yeah, you're going to have no ammo left after you kill him, unless you carry the VR-11 around, which obviously wastes a gun slot, um, and that gun's just awful. Um, another thing, it gave it a real Easter egg, which is awesome. Um, although the boss fight on Tagged or Toten is questionable, because it's not really a boss fight, it's more traveling through the map in a red bubble, if you've never seen it. Um, not actually fighting a boss. You're killing zombies the whole time. It's incredibly difficult, however. Um, and then it also just gave it so much more space. I think Alpha Omega is the only one that actually gave more space than, um, to the original map, uh, than Tagged or Toten did with the facility up top. Um, and then there's multiple expanded parts down below the boat once you shoot the uh water tank and the fire goes out you have that whole area opened up obviously the docks is opened up everything behind the lighthouse um there's just so much more space in the map and that is really really well done i think this map obviously nostalgia it's not going to help it it's going to help call of the dead a lot more call of the dead may be better for its era um of the maps but it also came out about the same time as ascension and moon which were both classics and uh tag to toten is actually the third best map in black ops 4 behind nine and ancient evil in my opinion so i think you could argue that they're both equally great for their era 
because while the Black Ops 1 era was extremely basic, Black Ops 4 era was just dog shit. So, you can make that argument. If you like Call of Duty more, absolutely understood, but I think these reasons kinda can give you good pieces for an argument to say, no, I think Tag the Totem's the better map, and genuinely took out the two biggest problems that people had with Call of the Dead, so. All right, and our final point for why it's underrated is going to be the variability that can be found within the map. Obviously, it benefits off the Black Ops 4 perk system because you literally can put your perks wherever and all that stuff, but that obviously alone can't make it more variable. But holy crap, there are so many guns on this map, and I, I didn't even realize until I played because I was spinning the box for the Tundra Gun, and I um, don't know why I just didn't go for the free one, but... There are so many guns in this map that I was pulling, and I was like, I have never seen these in zombies before. Like, what is this? Obviously, the M1927, a gun that is obviously a classic towards Mob of the Dead, Blood of the Dead, stuff like that, is on this map. I believe it's also found in multiple other maps, including Alpha Omega, but it's just an amazing gun. Absolutely love it. It has all the Black Ops 4 weapons, like usual, but just so many more scattered through there. And it really makes it so that this this map, you can run whatever setups you want. It has so many weapons, so if you really like a weapon for whatever reason, for instance, I love Blundergats, so whenever I want a Blundergat, I go, and I literally, like, choose to play Mob of the Dead, even if I wanted to play Origins or Buried more. I would go and I would play Mob of the Dead because I wanted a Blundergat. And this has that appeal. If you want to use a gun, you can absolutely go and use it here because it's probably on the map if it's even in black Ops 4 at all i know i saw the grab in there which is just a new version of the galil um which is awesome i love that gun too but the variability on this map is simply incredible um so i mean just the amount of different setups it makes it so much more replayable which is obviously a huge factor on this map um the samantha's box is an amazing weapon I like what the hell is it I don't know but it's awesome it's kind of like a little Arnie but on crack I think the little Arnie's um I only compared those right now because they both like kill your entire world but <laughs> um genuinely once you get up there in the high levels the guns they don't start doing that much or they start uh being insufficient this Samantha's box will destroy your entire horde and it will make it look very very easy absolutely love it just so much new stuff put into this map and i absolutely love it the effort that was put in on this map is incredible um so if you guys did enjoy this video i really would appreciate it if you want to leave a big thumbs up maybe smack that huge subscribe button uh leave a comment what you think about the video or what you think about tagged or toten or future videos you want me to make on zombies or fortnite um, I really am interested to see what you guys really think about Tag to Toten, because I feel like in the community, it just got shot down right away, and I feel like, I don't know, I don't think that was that deserved, really. Um, I think it's a really, really good map, and I hope that now you guys can understand that and see it too. Um, maybe go back and play it again, and, uh, you'll see all the stuff I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, if you're still watching at this point, and I, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.